Is your glass half full, half empty, or do you just think someone stole your glass altogether? Uh, what's up? It's Sean Walker from Exports Junkie. Yesterday I was talking to you uh, from the mountains of Colorado while skiing, and today I happen to be on the beaches of Santa Monica. Check out that uh, killer sunset that we got going on right now. Um, and I'm not doing anything extreme today. No sports, no anything. I got this cool blue chair strapped to my back here and I'm cruising the beach and I'm going to sit down and write for a little while. Um, but I started thinking about this and I started thinking about how people, it's really easy for people to look at other people's lives, right? Maybe you're watching this video going, oh man, Sean, you're so lucky. Like your life is so awesome. You know, and, and I, I do the same thing. I look to other people's lives and I can see all the great things. It's really easy for us as human beings to see the great things in other people's lives. And oftentimes we struggle to see the great things in our own lives. And it all has to do with perspective. And that's why I started this whole video out with, you know, is your glass half full, is your glass half empty, or damn it, did someone just steal my glass altogether? Um, and it's a, it's a question and, you know, a lot of people argue back and forth, right? There's the, the pessimist who's like, ah, my glass is half empty, it's half empty. The optimist, it's like, nah, man, my glass is always half full. It actually, it's totally full because half of it's filled with water or some sort of liquid and the other half is filled with air. It's full. And then there's the realists who are like, yes, it is half empty and it is half full. And that's very true, right? It is. Like, it is half and half. And the important part is to understand that when you're looking at your life, understand perspective. Yes, it's half empty. Yes, it's half full. But if you become a pessimist, all right, if you only... If, if you only can think that way, if you can only see the negative, listen to the language, only, then you only see it one way. You only see it half empty and you're always only going to see the bad parts of it. You're only going to see the negativity. You're only going to see everything that's bad in the world and you won't see the beautiful side of things. You won't see the things that are great. You won't know about the things that you should be grat grateful for and show the gratitude towards. So understand that like whenever you look at life there's always going to be a good side of it and if you're a pessimist you only it forces you only to see the negative so act on the other side act on the optimistic side act on the side that okay yeah things aren't great right now but ask yourself this question what is great about this situation ask that question what is great and maybe you're like ah oh, nothing's great about this this all sucks <laughs> um, then ask yourself this next question if something could be great about this situation, what would it be? And then, you know, that way you're, you're tricking your brain into saying, well, maybe things aren't great, but man, if something was going to be great about this, it would be this. And then when you start seeing that, or when you start being able to, to, to shape your mind towards the positive, towards the good, towards the gratitude, towards the beautiful things in life, then you're going to experience so much more joy and you're gonna to start to see that, okay, sure, my glass may only be half full right now, but you know what? Or maybe my glass is half empty, whatever it is, you're gonna to start to see the beautiful things and how awesome it is. I mean, take a look at this. Yeah, I'm not surfing today. I'm not on my wakeboard today. I'm not skiing today. Um, I'm not on my motocross bike today, but damn. I mean, there is some beautiful things in the world. So think about that when you start to look at uh, what you're doing with your life and the experiences with your life and all the things that are, that are happening. I mean, I could be extremely upset right now because I'm walking around on the beach in leather dress shoes in Santa Monica. And you know how hard it is to walk in sand and not get sand in your shoes? I mean, phew, I could hate my whole life right now because of that. But instead I go, ah, oh, this isn't that great to be cruising around the beach in dress pants and, and dress shoes. But, man, look at all the beautiful things. And so I have what I should be grateful for. And I know you do too. And if you just start to look for it, change your perspective just a little bit. And you'll see that life is amazing. And the more amazing things you see in life, the more amazing things you'll get. So and if you want more, so the, I said I was, I was going to sit down and write a little bit. Um, what I'm writing for is my home business. And this is what uh, allows me to do a lot of these great things. Uh, it allows me to chase my passions. And you can do the same thing if you want to chase more of your passions and live more of a freeing lifestyle. You can check out somewhere around here the Cliff Notes to 10K 
and uh, I'll show you exactly how I churn out a solid income from home or on the beach here. So check that out or head over to seanandrewwalker.com forward slash cliff notes and you can see that. So I'm going to go enjoy the beach, look for the great things in life. We'll see you soon. So long.